go. I pressed the, the button. The button. The button. You touch the butt. It chooses who will go and who will stay. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, everyone. The, sorry. Wait, the waiting room's been open, and I forgot to share the link in the Discord. I was so okay. I was like, damn. It's okay. Sorry, we were having, we were, friends. we were, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we, we were enjoying were. each other's company. <laughs> we were. Yeah, how, how dare us uh, appreciate each other's presence. And almost yeah. talking <laughs> and like totally not talking about like what we're going to do moving forward. It's fine. No. It's cool. Not that y'all should all be very afraid or anything. <laughs> Because unfortunately, it's like about like risk, but hold on. Because it's like I do know, I do know some ideas that you have, and I don't know when they're gonna show up. So I'm like, fun fact: I feel fucking threatened. Well, Well, you should. I was gonna say you probably should feel threatened. Let me let me let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Uh, No one's safe. No. It's this is 2023 is the air. This is You're your. No one's safe. This is your Brett and Lee Mulligan arc. We're all. Oh God, we're all this is my Brett and Lee Mulligan <laughs> arc. At which point are you weakest? Your elbow or at your shoulder? <laughs> Wait, which point are you weakest? An NPC that you just met that you fell in love with, or an NPC that you've loved for years? Shut the fuck up! You're not touching anyone from Nexus. Oops. You're not touching anyone from next. We're gonna list. have problems, Casper. We're gonna have fucking problems. And we're gonna have to solve them That's with our the brain. Thing, is that our fucking characters, everyone but Sirius, isn't gonna have any connection to these characters whatsoever. It's not gonna fucking matter. We will destroy you. Look at that <laughs> dance. That, that, that dance. Riot. That dance is the I have the power here dance. <laughs> so we're doing their little dancey dance. Well, the thing is, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh-huh, yeah. And here's the thing. Like, I know that if I do a thing that y'all don't like, you'll tell me. But I have a very strong feeling that you're going to like what comes with whatever this threat is about. The thing is, is that if you decide to, like, put someone from Nexalus in danger, I hope you understand that the next campaign that we do will have to be with our welcome to next list characters because we will be saving them because fuck that <laughs> again <laughs> or i'll just make you all do the work immediately so <laughs> we'll see how that goes oh my god I anyway why I just... that sentence was the one that put like chills down my spine of fear <laughs> I like to put my players on the edge of their seats, um, making other people players feel in their things. Fucking place. <laughs> uh, making other people feel emotions makes me feel emotions. Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh- <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, before we get started, um, I would actually love for us to very quickly go through and introduce ourselves, um, because that's what we do every stream, and I would like to keep that rhythm, but we'll keep it quick succession with name, pronouns, and where people can find you most frequently on social media. Uh, so again, we'll go clockwise. Jason, starting with you. Jason, he, him, the internet. (laughs) <laughs> the silence where on the internet, the internet. oh <laughs> the world wide web <laughs> find all nice. of find all of my links on jasonlarock.card.co really simple it's my name <laughs> dot card dot co <laughs> I love you so goddamn much. <laughs> I am gonna get these links put into the Here, chat. I'll, I'll, I'll Is do. Is Nightbot working this time? No. no. Damn it, Nightbot! Get your shit together. Yeah, Nightbot really is just saying no, completely. Come on, Nightbot, get your shit together. Like, I have disrespectful. This one, this one should work. Okay, all right, go. Yes. Fuck yeah! All right, I have all the cast and crew links Woo! in the chat below. Hell yeah! All right. <laughs> So, thank you so much, Jason. Uh, Next up is going to be Jenny. Hi, I'm Jenny. My pronouns are naked and afraid. I'm kidding. (laughs) 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 
All right. What? I like how we have he, him, Bo, and naked and afraid. Okay. I love neo pronouns. Um. Okay. Um, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Cerulean Siren nineteen. Um, Instagram at, like Cerulean Seamstress. I think. Um, I'm on Red Bubble at Cerulean Siren ninety seven. I was not planning on streaming or being anywhere in the public eye, so I you I need didn't to go care. and adjust all of that. I got to adjust everything. I got to make it easier to find. But uh, got to make a link tree or something. I got. <laughs> I don't know how to internet. I work with kindergarten students. I don't know. Friend, I'll help I know, you. I know colors and simple math. <laughs> I'll help you. Don't I know worry. what colors, my shapes, and simple math. Uh, I can goodness. spell my name. I can spell my name sometimes. The sometimes. E might be backwards. <laughs> sometimes I can spell my name. Sometimes. Oh goodness! I uh, and next up is Chelsea. Hi, I'm Chelsea. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, and I am going to be playing Rami, a knowledge cleric of Thespis that looks like a seminal, is a seminal, and knows a lot about bones. Uh, you can find me pretty much anywhere. I think actually everywhere under the username of Dang It Barb. I'm usually either on Twitter or TikTok is where you're going to probably be able to get a hold of me the most. All right. And uh, that's actually a good idea. Uh, Jason, who are you playing? A mistake. <laughs> no, I'm playing Saris. Uh, uses he, they pronouns. He's an elven ranger. Who only hit things with a bow and arrow like two sessions ago? Yeah, one time. <laughs> no, I think you've actually made almost every other shot uh, since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it did take upwards of like nineteen sessions. To hit We're learning anything. that you can only it's hit your you can only hit your shots in the Feywild. That's true. Yeah, that's true. You know that makes sense though. Yeah, I. It's, it's when when else will I need that? Obviously. <laughs> When will I need that skill? <laughs> Never. God. Oh, shit. <laughs> and Jenny, who are you playing? Um, I am playing Didi, um, who is an Azamar, who is anxiety incarnate. Um, she is a starting to kind of realize cultist. Um, she <laughs> she is a. On it. Warlock with an illegal patron who graduated with a degree from the Bardic College of Lore in order to hide herself and her magic. Um, and she's going, she's going through it. <laughs> Actively. Um, the most going through it. thing you can say about Didi. She's For some reason, it. you said Didi and my head just went Didi Rom. And I'm like, no, no. If she gets stuck here, if then she maybe. If she gets stuck here, then she'll be a Didi Rom. <laughs> oh gosh we need to get y'all out of this uh Please. cyber we're slowly cybernetic Listen, i i tried realm. i tried and my guiding bolt failed i'm sorry my we're dad's doing gonna our be best. pissed at me <laughs> your, dad where? your dad can suck an egg <laughs> don't tell my dad about this don't tell any of my dads about this <laughs> or your mother or, maybe or, don't tell any of your parents. Um, well, yeah. maybe or Rami's aunts parents or <laughs> uncles. Dad or... Is in the same boat yeah, he's, she is. he's here. Oh, that's oh fuck. You're right. No, he's he here did with see your dad. He's here yeah. with Hitchwire. Just don't tell Rami's I, mom. I didn't see my dad. Oh, I rolled like yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah don't, don't tell like your mom. Five. He's <laughs> here. He's here with Hitchwire. He's yeah. here with Hitchwire and my brother. Back, one of my yeah. brothers. driving back home in the fucking minivan and your dad's going to be like, so we're not mentioning this to your mother. <laughs> we're not telling your mother <laughs> we're about this to your thing. mother, right? <laughs> no one. Goodness she gracious. She doesn't need to know what happened, dear. No. <laughs> I'm going to stop uh, and get ice cream. We say nothing. <laughs> you say nothing? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes, I am bribing you. With ice cream. <laughs> Hot fudge? Okay. Remember. <laughs> Silent. <laughs> nothing right <laughs> and hello nothing. i'm casper oliver my pronouns are he fey i play everyone else um <laughs> are you also on the internet <laughs> <laughs> what about the what, did my neo pronouns give it away that i'm on the internet 
Uh, yes, I am. I'm on the internet oh, everywhere. Um, also, <laughs> yeah, I'm on the internet everywhere as Casper Oliver VO um, or Casper Oliver. Again, my links are in the chat below. Um, and yeah, I am. You can mostly find me on Fesperience Productions, which helps this stream uh, and in various live performances in the Pacific Northwest. Ayo. Um, as of Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. So, it looked really fucking cool. It did. <laughs> For context, I started drag recently, and my drag king is a hot mess. I say that very affectionately. I <laughs> fell on hot stage. Hot, and... mess. Huh? Hot, comma, mess. Yes. <laughs> I both <laughs> I'm hot, I'm happy, and I'm busy. <laughs> I'm hot, I'm happy, and I'm busy. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say I'm hot, I'm happy, and I'm a homosexual. That too. Uh... Y'all not hear what my fucking one was when it fucking came up the first time? Uh... <laughs> I'm hot, I'm happy, and I'm owing it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's also true. Yeehaw. All of these things are true. All of these things are true about what I did on Saturday. Um, anyway. <laughs> So, uh, speaking of what we're up to uh, tonight is that our players are trying to escape the cybernetic fey dimension that they are trapped in at the moment. Um, <laughs> and along with many others in the building that you are in, and uh, you're not sure who all is trapped, and you're not sure as to why, but you are beating the shit out of this we're trying. gender fluid digital fey. Now, um, does anyone... Oh, and who did y'all meet up with last week? Y'all reunited with an old friend. Uh, Roger. Roger. Friend? The friend? Rod like, Rod okay. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen, listen. He might not have been our like super close bestie in Nexus games, but he's here in the first Nexus games. But he's here as a friend this time. He wasn't. Best he best wasn't best. a bestie. Yeah. He made me. Hey, he made me Jason. feel like a dumbass, and he continues Jason. to make me feel like a dumbass. The what? roof, Jason. The what? roof. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> He continues to make me feel but, but, like the dumbest but, thing I've ever said was a question. But he is sort of, kind of, loosely our friend That's here. true. It, it, Roger gives me vibes of like, there are no dumb questions vest. except for the one you just asked. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a red sparkly vest because that's pissing him. Oh yeah, because yes. um, for anyone who cares about nextless lore one any, i love you two for anyone who um, cares <laughs> one i love you two roger's appearance changes ever so slightly depending on what deity sends him sends him so since thespis is who sends him he looks like a theater worker and he's still not white i just remembered i he's I, still not white he's still not white. I, he's not i remember now I, I didn't roll a five i rolled a na I, I rolled a natural you one like i did and hit him yeah you yeah. did you did hit Roger. You did hit Roger. <laughs> he was not happy about that. So oh, sorry, puppy. <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, considering who he is and who y'all are, I think it was best to hit him and not one of your fellow party members. You know? Yeah, you would think. Um, still not super pleased that I did that. And um, ever since that session, I have been rolling like shit. So let's hope the curse stops. Oh, no. Every single D&D game I've been in recently, I've been rolling like shit. Roger, curse stop. your dice. Um, stop doing it. Stop it, Roger. Stop, stop. it. Because if you keep cursing my dice, I'm going to keep hitting you. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> so I we're getting to... out, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let yes. me out. You are working oh, on wow. escaping. So I found uh, the lineup as well as the phase remaining. I did, I'm not right the end should have done. Yeah, I think we were doing uh, people's is, 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 yep, I have it points. Here. What is that? What is this? I have uh, Rami, Rami, Saris, Quill, Didi, Cyberfay, Roger um as the uh lineup and i have i don't have y'all's hp written down but i have the phase written down so uh, also rogers but that's my phone so uh we're gonna actually because i do not remember where we left off i will start at the top of the line 
uh, which does mean that it is Rami's turn to give you just a moment to think of what you're doing. Yeah, I will help you set this. I will set the scene for you um... to help you kind of get an idea as to what you might do. So, uh, Roger, I'm also setting the scene for myself. Uh, so you are all now still on this stage. All of you are coherent to your surroundings once again. Uh, you are all also in control of your own bodies, which is a perk to have in a cyber in a fey dimension. I mean, so now that you all have your wits about you to the best of your ability, uh, you are all teamed up with who all you know of him is that Thespis sent him. Um, and yeah, because I don't think Saris, I don't think you know enough about him to recognize him is that correct is that what we agreed on uh no but i do remember talking shit to him okay so do you think that saris would not know who he is or do you think saris knows who he is i i think what we decided on was that saris is aware of there was something that happened in nexus some kind of creature that they were I think connected also, with but i, I think I think Rami did verbally say like something about like Thespis. Yeah, she so you... recognized that it was Thespis that sent him. Yeah, so but I... I don't think I don't think Sarah's connected that it's the same. Okay, I just couldn't entity. remember because it's been a minute. Yeah. yeah, so I don't. Yeah, so Sarah's, you are not aware of your parents' connection to this this person, but you do know that he was sent by Thespis. Yeah. Um, and. Yeah, so um, you're currently, the, the Fae is not looking very comfy, um, as in health is not looking good at all. Uh, definitely bloodied, um, so at beyond half health. Oh, I will. sexy. So uh, did anyone take damage last session? Me. Me. How much? I don't know. I'm, I'm no, at I 25 do know. out of 36. And I am 36 okay. out of 51. Okay, so you're both a little roughed up, but not, like, super messed up. That's from Dee. <laughs> that yeah, because I also yeah, took yeah. damage from Dee. yeah. Yep. I dealt damage. I didn't take damage. You know, I feel like that's kind of usually... <laughs> she's she's taking emotional damage, to be fair. Oh, so taking so emotional much. damage 24-7. You're, you're racking oh, up always. on that emotional damage. Um... Mm. So, Rami, you yeah. you know how you're yeah. feeling. You know, you can yeah. see that Saris is also a little bruised, a little bruised up. Um, Everyone mm. is unfrozen, I also believe. So Quill is yep. also uh, there. But I think Quill is actually okay on health. So they look fine. Yep. Um, and I believe the the command is also gone at this point. Yes. Is what done? Okay. Yes. <sighs> fuck um this is the most spell slots i've used in this game um i'm gonna try to just do another guiding bolt just not as high as i did last time so it hits roger <laughs> all right go for it do i do i tempt fate with my goose loot dice no that was what fucked me last time no don't do it i don't use this one i don't use this that very often oh okay that was not terrible um 19 to hit. Ooh, that hit. Sorry, right, roll damage. 4d6 radiant damage. Ooh, nice. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. 17 points of radiant damage. All right. Um, that, yeah, okay, that did it. I was yeah. like, wait, hold on. Um, that's all I can do. <laughs> All right. So, how do you imagine uh, Rami's guiding bolt looking? I imagine because a lot of her magic is like very aggressively Thespis based. So, I imagine it it most of the time with radiant with like um the guiding bolt is usually like a bright holy light. But I can imagine with hers, it's almost like a like light lavender purple light almost that hits. Um, let me look at the description of the spell again. If it's supposed to be a very bright light, I will say that on impact, it hits almost like when you 
uh, when, all right, the stage is first being lit up and it's a little blinding for literally everyone in the room for a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's that vibe on impact. Oh, uh, also, I forgot. Uh, whoever's attacking next has advantage. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. That will be Saris. So Saris, yeah. you will have no advantage, advantage next round. Oh. Yeah, it's probably like a like a almost like light lavender, like lilac purple light that just streaks from Rami to which this the first time she's actually successfully used the spell. So she's like, oh <laughs> that's yeah. working. <laughs> well, successfully hit the target she meant to hit. Excuse yeah. me. <laughs> Using it correctly. Yeah, so... not hitting Roger. <laughs> So, yeah, you see the wisps kind of shoot out of your hands. It might even have like a slight kind of sparkle that kind of shoots off of the the wisps of light. Um, and as the glitter falls, it never hits the ground. So, so um, the, the thing is with this particular spell, the reason that Sirius has advantage is because there is a like light mystical light that glitters around them. So it probably just looks like almost like just loose glitter in the air. Like, ooh. you know, those, you know, those, um, those makeup like uh aesthetically pleasing things or people like yeah. have their makeup brush and they like drop the glitter onto the phone camera it's yeah. kind of like that it's catching on light that it shouldn't catch on and it's like very bright and glittery and it's multicolored. does it get stuck oh. on clothes no it's magic oh, okay it's not actual glitter okay just i'm it so sorry when you were talking about the glitter all i imagined was the sound that happens when rami fires it is just the cartoon like confetti cannon squeaky <laughs> noise <laughs> God, she was a little shocked that she succeeded on this, but just yeah. So it will hit your target, uh, probably much like pretty much square in the chest. Um, so their grin, instead of faltering, it's like their their grin is holding, but as you like look them in the face, you notice that the way it falters is that their face literally glitches and you like it's almost like you're seeing just momentarily a very livid face <laughs> uh, but it glitch glitches <laughs> back to the very like show host I and then it, hate that so it glitches rapidly like like a kind of like my camera was earlier uh like a yeah. warped computer program uh between these two expressions i hate that casper uh saris it is yeah. your turn, and you have advantage. Yeah. Um, I remember doing a cordon of arrows thing last time, but you I don't did. think anything happened from it. Mm -mm. So I guess I do not think so. Nothing did. Okay. It was a it was a like prepared held action for when um they did the time stop went away. Okay, so I never used it. Okay. I didn't write it down, so I don't think I used it. You didn't. Okay. Um, I will say if you would like to, you may use that now. Uh, I will not because I'm going to keep Hunter's Mark. Okay. All right. Fair. And where is the Fae currently facing? Is it towards Rami because all this? Yes. Sparkle. At the moment, awesome. Yeah. At the moment, Sparkle. the Fae would be looking towards Rami. Okay. Love that for me. Cool. Um, I am going to proc two arrows and I'm going to try and shoot it straight through their ears. Oh. Uh-oh. Pensive thought. Think. Okay, I think. Hello? You froze, Casper. You were thinking so hard. Oh. Their computer is... I'm... Oh. Hello. Hello. I'm lagging. Sorry. <laughs> um... Why did Wordly open? Go away. <laughs> Go get out of here. Get out of here. I didn't open. No, close. Thank you. Anyway, uh, so you cock two arrows and what? Uh, since they're facing uh, Rami, I'm going to try and go through the ear and just wink through their head. Ooh. All right. Go for it. And remember, you have advantage. I do. On both or just the first one? Just the, It's just the, the next attack. Okay. I don't know how Casper wants to count that if it's just the first attack or both. It just says next attack. Yeah. How do you want to count it? I'll just say you get advantage on your on your rolls for this for this specific attack. Oh, so the first so one. So anything that you roll Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. First one is 17. All right, that hits. Woo! You got this. I believe in you. And then second one, 12. First one hits, second one does not. <laughs> okay. All right, so roll damage for the first one. And I'm also going to make it dreadful. Make it dreadful. <laughs> make it dreadful. Dread, make it dreadful. Okay. Uh, so I need that. I need. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta memorize this. And then, do do ba boop do ba boop. I need all of these. I need so many dice. So many. Boink. All the dice. That is ass. Ten. What was that? Ten. Ten damage? Well, I, it was ass, all right. but ten. Alright, ten ass damage. Ten ass damage. <laughs> Damage to this ass. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, the ass of the ear. 100% yes. The, the ass of the ear? You said you shot him through the ear. I did. Yeah. I called him an ass. I, the ass of the I'll ear. I'll be honest, I was half paying attention because I got really excited because I have wheat thins. It got really glitched, so I only heard half of like the stuff. But now, okay, now I hear. Now I understand. Yep. I All was, right. I was, I was vibing was to happening. the music, and I got excited because I was eating because I remembered I had wheat thins. So I did not pay full attention to that conversation. Everyone, this is a reminder to enjoy the small things in life. Let mm -hmm. these things bring you joy. Uh, so, Sarah, anyway. you call him an ass, and shoot your two arrows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um no nah, but so the first arrow does indeed go like through the phase mm. ears um and the second arrow they kind of just in turning their head you went from having the wideness of their profile to like their head kind of narrowing out more uh so the arrow shoots through and actually hits one of the uh, television screens um and you notice and as the arrow hits the screen it lodges like you would expect for an, an arrow to shoot through a television screen um and all of a sudden you can actually uh hear and instead of just seeing everything you suddenly it's as if you kind of cracked through the glass of the screen and more like a window uh you can now hear this random other group uh, trying to survive through their fay game. Uh, not a them. not a group of people that you recognize, mm. uh, but you can suddenly hear them. Hmm. Uh, what was that? I just said hmm. What was that, Chelsea? Oh, I froze. I it was bullshit. I was just fucking around. You're good. Oh, you're okay. Okay. So, uh, sorry, my I don't know why my computer is being so laggy tonight. I'm going to have to do some reading into that or whatever after stream. Anyway, so uh, you did make the first hit. They are not happy. So that glitching face is now aimed towards you, Saris. Um, so, and it's less like joy and anger. It's more like an amused expression and a very angry expression so it, it's I, it's I that. yeah it's no longer that plastic grin it's more genuine amusement and then glitching to just absolutely furious yeah so uh, just with one hand lowers the uh the bow and just kind of flips him off a hell yeah middle we finger we love to see it Oh my god. All right. So next is going to be Quill. Uh and so Quill will actually take this time to since y'all are actually kind of just one after the other wailing on this fay. Uh Quill is actually going to turn their attention to the uh now cracked screen. Um and will be doing some work with that. So I'm going to have them roll investigation. 
You can do it, Quell. I believe in you. Okay, so it seems like they are able. Uh, it seems like Quill is like pulling out uh, some like tinkering tools almost and is like kind of trying to like safely manage the glass. Uh, Quill has rolled well on their investigation role, um, but for them to continue to figure it out, they're going to be devoting their time to this. This is my way of getting them out of the queue because y'all are doing really well. <laughs> Dee Dee, it is no, your no. turn. Y'all don't okay. Well. <laughs> so, um, within 150 foot, like span, 20 foot radius. What, are, what is happening? <laughs> would I be able to hit the Fey and a couple of the screens after seeing what happened with Sirius's arrow? So, only hitting the Fey and some of the screens and not anyone else. Yeah. I'd say that you could hit the Fey and like one of the screens. Um, you could hit more of the screens, but you'd risk hitting Quill. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to hit Quill. Okay. So you'll be able to get the Fey and one of the screens. Maybe if you roll well. <laughs> I'm trying to think how many screens are there again you're kind of basically it's the screens that were kind of behind you on stage so there's a lot of them okay could i try to angle for a massive clutch of the screens rather than hitting the fey and just yes. keeping away from the one that quill is doing i would yes. like to do that please yep you can crack you can crack a lot more of the screens if you don't go towards the fey okay so now i'm All trying right. to decide between an upcasted shatter and a fireball. Either well, or, uh-oh. <laughs> Either or, yeah, that's gonna do a lot, probably a lot of damage. The the shatter affects like uh, like items and objects and shit, doesn't it? As long yes, as they're not does. being worn or they're not constructs. So that might it's be better. Just a smaller radius. 10 feet rather than 20 feet. Mm. I guess but it's just a radius. On... So our radius is just like a pizza sliver of the area that we go. Do you want some meta um, um, advice? Yes. Yes, God, thank you um, very much for being the, so merciful. The way I, I feel like just the way that shatter works would be more effective against a lot of glass screens versus trying That's what I was fire. thinking. Yeah. Cool. I'm a cash shatter. That is also what I was thinking. Cool. All right. Well then roll to cast shatter. Or do I have do I have to roll? How does how does this work? You again? have to roll a con save. Or they have to roll a con save technically. Um, but they're TV screens. So if they're non if they're not being worn well, carried and they're not the constructs, fame, the they just roll it. They just, you know. Yeah, because I was gonna say I, I don't think the there's damage. anything. I think the only thing that yeah, no, like just just roll damage. <laughs> just just roll damage. <laughs> I gotta I have too many dice in here. You just, have so many fucking just drop dice in that them. little tray. Drop them in the first one you see is the one you roll. So let me see, let me see. Yeah, 4d8 thunder damage. 52 Woo! pick up with dice. <laughs> oh my god. Mean, that's worse than with cards. That's so, that's so bad. Because if you miss one you step on it later, you're suffering. And it's probably going to be a d4, I'm just saying. Oh, it's always a d4. What was that? Give me this other fucking D8. You need a oh. D8. There we go. In your butt. I don't know. No, I have plenty of D8s. I just couldn't find it in my mass of generally similar colored dice. Also, hello, Ashley. Ashley. Hello. Hello. I see a frog. A frog. <laughs> What'd you get, Danny? So that's two eights, Jesus. seven, and a three. Jesus. Jesus. So 16 and 35. 10. No, 30. 16 and 10. 36. 16 and 10. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, did, I got you. I got you. You have the wrinkles today, sir. <laughs> I sure do. All right. So 36. 36. To the, to, to the cluster damage. of televisions. All right. Yeah. So 
Uh, I'm going to say that 36 points of shattered damage, basically. Um, I know it's not shatter, but <laughs> it's a glass. Yeah. Uh, yes, that is going to be super effective. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's super effective. So, yeah, you are able to shatter a, a good handful of the screens. The screens. Um, it, would, it will make Quill jump a bit. But not out of taking damage, I'm just sorry. out I'm of sorry. suddenly there is a bunch of glass. Dd just seeing him jump, like, did I actually hit them? Fuck, sorry, I'm no. sorry. Um, I'm sorry. But like, they they aren't injured. Uh, they their actions not really interrupted besides the jump. Um, but yeah, you do suddenly. Oh no! Uh oh! Same Fey terror game that you are all playing through. Oh. You're back My now. My internet. You're back now. Hello. I just oh, I just I'm back. What you Hello. Said. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We okay. So um yeah, no you crack all the screens and through it you hear a bunch of other people going through this same like cyber <laughs> terror game that you are all going through at the moment. I hate that. Uh, some of them doing better than others. Um, but you also notice, again, that a good handful of the rooms are getting noticeably harsher or easier games. Um, that some people seem to be kind of going through it a bit easier uh, than others. But for you, uh, especially now that everyone is wailing on the Fae and reinforcement appeared out of nowhere as far as the Fae is concerned... Uh, they're getting very angry. Um, so yeah, you have now this like ear communication to these other rooms. I, uh, you can try whatever you want to do with that. Next up is going to be the Fay, and the Fay is pissed because the Fay just got <laughs> shot again. And it's getting <laughs> all take that twice that. in a row. Yeah, getting kind of sick of Saris. Um. So uh, the Fae will, uh, okay, because I love the mental imagery. When you shot the arrow, let's say, just for humor's sake, that when you shot it through the ears, that instead of it flying all the way through, uh, I would love to imagine that it got, like, stuck. Oh. Um, <laughs> like, in its, oh, wait, did I freeze? I think no, I back. was. You're good. I oh. could hear oh. you. You were just stuck. Okay. Hey, you know what? I think that's the most important. Um, is... It got like stuck. So when the Fey turns to you, it's got like an arrow <laughs> sticking through its head. Kind of funny looking until the they uh, rip it out. And <laughs> in instead of like what would be blood and other gross stuff, it's like digital little pixels of light uh, that kind of just like go off and fizzle off. Um, and then they kind of like put the arrow, hold it like a dart, and then throw it back at Asshole. you. Um, <laughs> Uh -oh. Except it's like shooting. Where's, it. where's Magna when you need him? I know. It's that and throw Dad. It back, bitch. Dad. <laughs> Dad. Ooh. Uh... Dad, pick me up. I'm scared. Dad, help Dad, me. Pick me up. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna like assume that a 19 hits. Um. Yeah. That's disrespectful. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell me, how much damage does one of your arrows do? Mine specifically yeah. do 1d4. Yeah. 1d4? Okay. Well, if you had shot it, uh, it would have been 1d4. That's mine would have been disrespectful. Mine would have been 1d4 plus 2 plus the Hunter's Mark plus the Dreadful Strike. Can you give me these numbers? Can I not give you the numbers? Maybe? Uh D four D six. Oh no, longbow. Part. Sorry, longbow was one D eight. So I rolled wrong. Anyway. Oh. Oh, I'll just yeah, put the D four back. That's um, different. Um. D8. Do you want all of my add-ons for it? Well, no, I was just being a bastard. Mark. One D eight plus two plus one D four plus one D six. Make it. Okay, I'm just gonna roll those dice. Um, because we'll just say that the Fae learned this move by going through Yanagan earlier. 
How about you get out of my noggin? You were in there without consent, you bastard. You didn't ask for permission. You didn't ask for consent, you dick. So you're going to take 11 points of damage. How about I... That's really rude. <laughs> Don't. Um, and it doesn't hit you in the face. So I'll say that this actually strikes you in the shoulder. Um, Owie. Yeah. So, yes, you take Son 11 of points bitch. of damage. Yeah, of your arrow fired back at you uh, ah. through your shoulder. Well, shit. Um, okay. Well, yeah, shit. literally. Uh, and up next is Roger's turn. Roger, Roger. Sorry. <laughs> Tell my brain Fuck him up, dog time. boy. Woof, Tell woof, my brain Roger. every fucking time I hear the name Roger. Woof, like, woof. woof. Roger, sick, Roger. Sick him, boy. I forgot that I wasn't muted. I thought I was. <laughs> Roger, Roger. <laughs> so, uh, I'm Roger. I'm muted because I've been eating. Uh, so, Roger, uh, upon seeing this whole mess, uh, is knowing that if any of y'all die, then that's not going to be something that they're, their, co their contractor's not going to be happy about that, and that's not great for their so like his like <laughs> celestial cosmic Yelp review scores. So, um, he's still Yelp review. I don't know. Um, it's a called... Yelp review because he's a dog. Oh, it's a Felp review. Oh, I was gonna say it's a Welp review. Well, it's a well. Welp. Yes, they're called Welp reviews. Um, he wants to make sure that his Welp review stays up, so he doesn't want any of y'all to die. Um, <laughs> but he does see where you're going with the shattering of glass, and he will. Uh, uh, he will look to uh, where all of the TV screens just got shattered by Dee Dee. And just, it's always glass. Um, and is going to, uh, well, mirrors. Mirrors, mirrors Telsey, mirrors. <laughs> you played the game. I have half a brain cell, guys. Oh, you played the game. You played the game. <laughs> I've gotten maybe like 10 hours of sleep in the past like two or three days. Leave me alone. That'll do it. Uh, but that, that's okay, because uh, Roger is going to... Um, his steps are slow, but his body moves quite quickly uh, from where he was standing over towards uh, the screens, except he ends up going behind them. Um, and you hear the sounding of a straining, uh, like a pull like you know when like metal is kind of being pulled apart um and yeah uh you hear the the snapping and then fizzing and then and some of the screens go out um but this seems to very much get the phase attention and immediate iration um and the Fae turns his full attention towards Roger with the uh, expression going from amusement to flickering with rage to pure rage. As if any of you notice that uh, various Rogers across the screens start to do the same thing. God, and one's enough. There's a You can assume there that's, might be a Roger in all of these. You have no idea. Oh, no. Um... Okay. But yeah, and you notice that across the screens, there's a Roger that will go behind each of the screens and start working to unplug it. And the Faye is no longer happy and pissed. The Faye is just pissed. So, Rami, it is your turn. I'm getting real low on spell slots. Uh, <clears throat> Do you have any I'm rocks? I'm get stressed, huh? Do you I mean, I'm out of spell slots. Throw? I hate... Dee Dee's out of spell slots? Mm -hmm. I'm a warlock. I get two. Mm. Yeah, you do. Well, you have, you have like, don't you have like, please tell me you have like elder blast. I was masquerading as a bard. Okay. I don't get to change out my shit until next level. Yep. Oop. Mm. Uh. I have thunderclap. That is my only damaging oh my cantrip. <laughs> um, At least you have something. How how fucked up does Cirrus look? I got Cirrus. How fucked up do you look? 
I am one point under half. Okay. To my 25. Okay. So not great. Not great. Okay. Um, and then Capper, because uh, various DMs do this differently. Um, are you okay with casting a bonus action spell and an action spell? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because some yeah. DMs don't. If you cast a bonus action spell, you can only do a cantrip. That's why I was taking because some people... Oh, no, no, no. no. If, if, if it's an action <laughs> and a bonus action, you can do both. I think that ruling is such bullshit. Well, it's so stupid. I don't want to limit y'all. Nah. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Heal and Ward. Or no, not okay. yes, Healing Ward. Yes, correct. Okay. I was looking at sore wounds, not Healing Ward. So Give me different. some healthy snacks. Some healthy snacks. Give me some healthy snacks. It, it, carrot stick. Oh, uh, that was Max Health. Uh, Rami pulls out some so ants on a log. 11, 11. <laughs> I'm a little baggy. <laughs> You just undid what was did to me. You're so welcome. <laughs> hey, um, I don't. Uh, I love when the did to me has been undid, <laughs> like immediately after. Yeah, right, it's just like boom. Stop it. Stop it. Get stop. some help. Um, I'm gonna. Reaches over, slaps a man in right on my face. Slot. I'm gonna try to cast Guiding Bolt again. All right, okay. I'm assuming at, at Rod at that. No, Roger, no, at Roger. At, yeah, 100. At the, uh, no, fae. At the fae. Cool. All right, go for it. Woo. Yeah, fuck the dog. Woo. <laughs> Seventeen. Roll damage. Oh, well, okay. I cast it at third level, so that's gonna be uh 66 radiant damage. Uh, hold on, hold on. How many? 66. So you're saying the minimum that you could get is six points of damage? Yes. How do you want to do this? (laughs) Take it down. I want to say before this, this is the only damage spell that Rami has prepared currently. (laughs) That is it. (laughs) So if this didn't work, I was going to cry. Um... It, it probably, probably honestly, um, for her, it's that streak of light again, but it almost envelops it, like the creature. Um, I mm-hmm. don't know how you want to rule this because it's a cyber kind of thing, but either like he that they drop when the light is gone, he they're just on the ground, or they disappear, or whatever the fuck the situation that you want to do is. But I imagine the light probably envelops like fully when she casts okay. it. And then just dissipates with like very light glitter. All right, so you all watch as the before the Fae can even fully react to the rage of Roger's actions across all of these screens. Um, you all watch as this light, similar to what shown before, but much brighter, much more blinding, uh, leaves from Rami's hand and shoots through the air and engulfs the Fae. Um, and as the light when it hits and when it engulfs you hear just a moment of this like sizzling burning sound (laughs) and then you know that like you know that that sound when i don't know how to explain it it's like one of the computery glitchy sounds that some tech will make is almost like a screaming noise a screeching uh, sound. Yeah, it's a very yeah. screeching glitch sound that, that you noise. hear just Hate pierce that. through the air uh, as this bright light engulfs the Fae. And then as the light dims and the glitter kind of bless fades, you. the fa- yeah, bless you. Uh, the Fae <laughs> stands like frozen in spot uh, with instead of a pained face uh, or an enraged face, uh, actually looks dead no (laughs) so content like almost relieved um as you watch that their skin kind of starts to like almost 
peel away as the gl- as the particle bits kind of fade into the air as you look through them and they look like you know like a computer like a computer model and you just they're almost hollow uh as they just kind of start to fade away and glitch away uh and the fay looks over to Roger and just well unfortunately my friend it looks you may have just been a bit too late and then the fay fades what? away wait what the what? fuck wait wait what what and we're gonna go to intermission. What? 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 <laughs> Fuck up! <laughs> oh, I can explain. <laughs> Fuck up! What? The phase dead. Y'all finish the fight. I mean, well, not Shut dead. Shut the but, like, fuck up, Casper. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the phase. The phase is gone. Hmm. Uh, Roger is Confused. staring. Yeah, Roger is staring at where the Fae had been. And then, you you know the sound of when you're in a, a very brightly lit room and they turn off the lights, but they kind of all turn off in like a wave. So you hear the clicking yeah. and the yeah, powering yeah. down of like each line of lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you hear that until the room just goes pitch black darkness for just a moment until you hear a and Quill has put on goggles that are glowing. Uh, and that is the only light love them. in I the love room. Them so much. Uh, and uh, they like kind of like turn towards where you all are. Uh, and it's just, is everyone okay? Thank God for nerds. I love you too. Um, you got it. E- everyone okay? Uh, you sure? Yeah. Dee Dee? Uh, other guy? <laughs> and Roger other just. Guy. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think he gave a name. I don't know his name. <laughs> no, I know it. And just, I'm fine. Dee Dee? No, but am I ever? I, I mean, you're self aware. You, you're learning. I'd be more scared if I wasn't right a Oh, oh, okay. Uh, well, okay. Let me let me start. And like Quill starts like carefully shuffle their feet as they're like clearly looking for you all to like start to gather you all, uh, so that you all can kind of see. Um, and yeah, no, this is where we're going to go to intermission. Um, I'm, I'm gonna fight. <laughs> he. So, uh, yeah, we will be back in ten minutes. Uh, to which. These players and their two random companions uh, will find out how the hell they're going to get out of this pickle. Uh, they've dealt with the immediate threat. Elise is on an office min max pickle. So. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Anything's better than an office min max pickle. That, you're so valid, though. <laughs> Uh, so everyone, we will be back in roughly 10 minutes, maybe a little sooner than that. And we will, uh, yeah, we'll be here. So go refill your drinks, go get another snack, take your meds if you haven't and you need to love yourself. And we'll Thanks see you for in reminding me, Jesus Christ. You go take your meds. <laughs> see you in 10.
Hi. You know, Hello. Hey, oh. somehow the world will change for me and this so wonderful. All right. Do, 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 do. I, Carly, is back. Casper, <laughs> I posted that two seconds ago. What? If even what? the tweet that you what? just liked, I posted it like two seconds ago. I got a notification when you posted it. I know, well, I just was expecting you to immediately open it. I liked it too. <laughs> I also oh, I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> it was just oh God, it's... immediately quick I, liking it. Boom. That's just funny because I actually got called out for that at the uh, the drag show I did. We were all backstage and <laughs> I someone was made say a that's post. That's just you every day. It's just immediately yeah. post something and just boom. Lightning reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> really well, this one of my friends got accepted to a local to a university near her. And oh, so yeah. I went and posted, like, oh, congrats. Like, you know, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. And the person that I was talking to in the drag room was like, at some point, took a break from their talking and like went and looked down at their phone and looked back up at me and was like, "Casper, when did when did you comment on their status? When did they just posted that?" And I'm like, "Oh, while you were talking." And they're like, "I didn't see you do it." And I'm like, "I don't know what to tell you. I I did it." Surprise. I want to mention something that has been so upsetting to me for the past few months. And it is the fact that every single time that you or Jason post, hey, we're going to be streaming like this extra little thing in like five minutes, I get so excited. And then I check it and I, because I get a notification for it and it oh, says oh, posted it like now. And it's from like three days ago. And I'm like, yeah, the Twitter, oh. the Twitter like moment thing oh, that yeah. the app doesn't yeah. work well. It's so annoying. It'll give you something from the day prior. Like, and there was this for. I there don't was get like notifications for when you normally just like post like, "Hey, we're gonna go live in like thirty minutes," and I'm like, "Yeah, it's it's the highlights that you get for like." I mean, also that's valid because I, I tweet a whole lot. Please don't get notifications when I tweet. Your phone will never shut up. Um. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Who's darkness and fear? We're in yes. darkness. No parents. Um. So. <laughs> you know, Lego Batman darkness. No parents. Anyway. <laughs> um yeah well actually yeah. that's not true because my one of my parents is here oh uh, wait uh, in actuality no. i got no parents no okay stop no i was talking about <laughs> in the game my dad is rami's in the dad is here building. uh quill has mom dad's where the fuck who knows um can we get out of the darkness oh we have parents in soon <laughs> A prison, yeah. Well, we'll see. Um, so you all uh, are now in complete darkness, with the only light being, at least Quill's for the moment, goggles. from Quill's goggles, which is how they have dark vision, quote unquote. Um, and the, like little headlights. Actually, if any <laughs> if any of you have dark vision, um, Saris, you might. Let me check. Being an elf, you do because I'm a half check. elf and I do. I do. I do. Do Asmar have dark vision or no? I I've played Asmar cool. so I often and do. I don't remember. I'm like 99 percent sure they do. Yes, dark vision because they're they're celestial based, so they tend. Yep. Okay. So what thankfully, what the fuck? Sorry, I I got logged out for some reason for like half a second there. Sorry. Oh. Uh, so, since you all basically have dark vision, um, you are able to see that you are now in a empty, completely empty, but perfectly sizable studio recording room. Um, so it's not this, like, ever expansive, daunting, like, whatever. In this pit that we're in? Yeah, it's like an actually perfect, even maybe even a little small. Um, like honestly, if you, you look around it, it, it kind of feels a little bit like a like a student recording area. Is that um, what it is, Casper? Is yeah. it a student recording area? Where? It where's, is dark. Where's the where's the student? Well, we got a kick. <laughs> Got kick some kids. I mean, <laughs> it's only y'all in. Oh, so I'm so kick, sorry. So because kids. so because the first thought that I had when we saw this phase, like it's a virus. Now all I'm thinking is this fucking dumbass 
like goddamn student at this university decided to watch porn on one of the school computers. <laughs> and now you have this. <laughs> this whole arc this whole arc was designed so that we here at Nexus Games could tell you to watch porn responsibly um, <laughs> or go check out our sponsor as you like as it as you like it use code thesperience at checkout to get 10% <laughs> off your order Oh my gosh, someday we need to team up with like filthy figments or something and really go wild. Um you little, <laughs> no, little kinky but friends. I, I, that is that is hilarious. Oh, but fuck. no. Uh, <laughs> so uh yeah. Meet myself. But you so with your dark vision, you are you are able to see that much. Um, but again, the only light in the room is coming from Quill's goggles. Do we have our phones? Um, Are they fully charged or at least charged enough to use the flashlights on them? Check your phones. Can I I would like to check my cell phone, Casper. Yeah, and you actually have signal again, uh, but it's very oh. weak. It's like what the fuck are we? one or two bars. It's kind of flickering between one or two. So like very minimal um yeah i'm gonna my... turn my phone back on can i open my google maps and see where like it drops me <laughs> on like the map uh yeah so it, it looks like it's kind of putting you on campus but it's it's saying like accuracy low oh, yeah, 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 yeah. okay it does that big um, circle but... of somewhere around yeah. this yeah. area but you're able to see, like, one of the buildings that you recognize is being a building that your dad teaches in. Okay. But that's not the building that you're in. That's just in the radius. Yeah, 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 so you're yeah. able to assume you're... But the, the signal is shit. Could I take a picture of the room on my phone and use the flash? Sure. Um, just to see if anything uh, pops up yeah. in the picture. Sure. Yeah. Um... The most notable thing that honestly really happens is, uh, one, you are able to see with the flash um, that it is, besides y'all, empty. It's just a, like, a student recording area. Um, is Roger gone? Or is Roger no. in my picture? Roger is in your picture. Oh, uh, boy. And Parents can't only... see that. <laughs> and make sure that doesn't go on the cloud it's fine yeah, the only difference <laughs> the only thing that really stands out is that everyone else's shadows that they leave because of the flash are perfectly normal but rogers is incredibly dark uh and quite not the right shape quite weak. um yeah uh is 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 his shadow the shape of a dog it, it does look more reminiscent of a, canine, <laughs> of a canine shadow than a human shadow. Um, but he's there. Uh, he doesn't seem to be phased uh, by the uh, the flash. And also probably uh, the only person to not get that little weird red eye effect that some flashes do. Uh, Roger's eyes don't do that. Uh, they are just dark. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, besides that, normal room. I turn my flashlight on just so I have so you okay. have it. <laughs> okay, yeah, you have a flashlight. Yay. Um Quill we'll see, but... also no. Yep, Quill actually like does some clicking on their 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 goggles and it turns from um just like their kind of immediate radius to like more like a flashlight. Oh. Uh so that they can more directly aim the light. <clears throat> but that means they're gonna more follow since mm. they can't see as widely uh okay. since they've narrowed their scope well we're um we're on campus hmm? still so there's that yeah huh. okay I, i'm sorry i'm i'm sorry and looks at roger just what did what did they mean by that last thing that they said i do not know yet when will okay. you, when will you know I do not know yet. When that changes, I will let you know. Okay. I just, do you I have like a if... an email, a Discord, maybe cell phone? I'm sick 
of Discord. Uh, and he starts walking. Uh... Wow, he just really doesn't like that gaming platform. Goddamn. <laughs> so I'm assuming, like, how do you have an email? Roger starts walking to the door. Okay, phone number. Can I? Do you have? Do you text? Do you have like a WhatsApp? He's not responding to you. He's just walking towards the door. Will you call a landline? Do I need to have a? Will you call? He stops. <laughs> he turns and looks at you. Skype. Zoom? Zoom? You're as annoying as all of them combined. All right. All of who? <laughs> AOL Messenger? No. If you keep this up, I will it's do it in the most horrifying way possible. Facebook? You didn't take up on the mic. Look at all you said Facebook. We didn't Facebook? Take up on the mic. Right, we should book. we should we should we should, <laughs> we should go before uh i don't i don't want to be here anymore <laughs> quick question hmm what the fuck is happening with my wings oh is are you are you asking or is Dee asking <laughs> uh, i figure that's not how she'd ask but that's not question. how she'd ask and she wouldn't say out loud i am asking Hello? yeah okay um, so yeah, if you all look to her wings, which I think also might be part of why Richard, uh, dis not Richard, Roger disengages from the set. <laughs> okay, no, 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 <laughs> what he he, no, he is not on campus. He is not being around children of any age. That's so valid. Um, so, uh, but you all look to Dee Dee and see that her wings have lost a fair amount of their plumage. Uh, the skin no longer looks as rashy, irritated. Um, but it it it. If you've ever had a bird that has started to kind of pluck their own oh, feathers, yeah. uh, it kind of looks reminiscent of that. Rami immediately is going to go over and check to make sure that Dee Dee's okay. Because they were not like that before this, and so she's like, ah. No. <laughs> Yep. I didn't lose any hit points. Rami doesn't know that. <laughs> For most of it, she was fucking possessed. She doesn't know. Fair, yeah. <laughs> How is Dee Dee taking this? Um, I think the moment that she notices, she's gonna pull a cardigan from her bag and pull them over her wings. Oh, sweet girl. Okay. She doesn't okay. want anyone to see it. <laughs> All right. And Rami, you approach. And she's like kind of crying. Yeah. <laughs> can I make sure? Can I just kind of, can I check? I'm not hurt. Well, your wings weren't like that before this. Unless you know what's going on with them. Do you mind if I check? To make sure that it's not gonna get worse because of a, a, a ailment or something. She's not gonna take the cardigan off, but she's gonna stretch one of her wings out underneath it. Hmm. Rami so gingerly is gonna start looking it over. Can I do like a medicine or maybe an arcana check just to see? I choose one or the other. Rami, I don't think I don't think Rami thinks it's an ailment because she's been fine. So I think honestly, she's probably going to do an arcana check. Okay. Um, yeah. Because I don't think Rami assumes it's a um, like a sickness or an injury. Yeah, she's not gonna assume that. Sorry, Jenny sent me a. Fucking she's just got bird flu. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> oh my god, the music that I'm listening to just made me lose track of the counting. Uh, Twenty three total. Twenty three. On Arcana. Okay. So, what you know of, we'll say, like, you know, Asmar, a lot of the culture mm -hmm. and history of Asmar, um, it's 
fairly open you know it's it's kind of not common knowledge but for someone like you who likes to do research it mm -hmm. it's not the nichest topic that you've studied and it's certainly not the hardest <laughs> topic of you know to study mm -mm. um you do know that there are like any uh many different types of celestial birthed beings uh and a common thing that they share are not always but often wings and something that can happen is that if something influences especially negatively influences their connection with the divine the celestial bond um it can start to shed their feathers Uh, it's sort of some of the common language used is 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 falling, but mm. people think that's a bit grim. Um, <laughs> yeah. So not it's not like the most like correct term to use, but the most common term yeah. to use. I'm just trying to determine how Rami's going to say this. Because that's gonna be a problem. Um Probably just, well, it's definitely not any kind of ailment that wasn't noticed or anything. Um, I don't know how to put this in a nicer way that's not going to stress you out. Do you want me to tell you what I think it might be? Do you kind of already know? How do we get out of here? <clears throat> and Rami's just going to step back. Um, la TV and talk. Oh my god. <laughs> you tune back into Sarah. Buffinity? Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna kill you! Webkins! Web Neopets! <laughs> Neopets! <laughs> Only fans! Cool math games? Only I don't know, man! Only fans! <laughs> Roger would make a killing on OnlyFans. Anyways. Honestly, Roger would right. make a killing. That oh growl? My. Oh my god. Well, wait, we, oh, he, oh, he'd do great. Uh, uh, so, uh, Roger is completely ignoring Sarah as he approaches the, <laughs> the, the door in the recording studio. And as he opens the door into the hallway you notice that the only light coming through seems to be an emergency light. Like, you know, when you see have the emergency exit signs mm -hmm. uh, in different parts of the hallway, it's like those. Uh, <laughs> and you also hear simultaneously many other doors open. What the fuck? And suddenly you can hear muffled voices talking from the hallway. Hi. Do you do you go into the hallway? Do you just say hi from the room? I just kind of like poke a head yeah. out. Yeah, I just go like hi, oh. and just like look uh, down the hall. You poke your head out, and you see that other confused people, primarily students and staff, and then just random folks are kind of slowly also peering out. Some of them looking kind of messed up, um, like with combat. Yeah. Uh, and but everyone no one seems to be in like dire uh that's good anything or dire condition but everyone where is rami's dad is very confused I, I i'll say saris anyone that you recognize in this moment would just be passing acquaintances like you that's recognize fair. their face but you don't like know their name yeah that's fair. um but yeah pardon so. my french but what the fuck um and you do notice that the roger who had opened the door uh upon stepping into the hallway actually disappeared um and you look to see that he's actually kind of standing at the end of the hallway 
like taking count of everyone who's starting to kind of come out of their rooms. You still didn't tell me where to expect oh your God. message. He, with one hand, is counting, with another, does like the, the shush the gesture. <laughs> but he's just, uh, continues counting. Um, Fine post. I'll expect I your Saris. message in the mail. <laughs> so goddamn much. Oh, oh my god. Facts. Um, <laughs> facts. Fax machine. Oh my god. So, uh, you're able to kind of start. I could buy a pager. <laughs> somehow. Oh my god. <laughs> you all are now able to exit the room. And yeah. you can join all the other lost, confused contestants. Uh, the Again, the only light that you see is coming from the exit, the emergency exit signs and people's like flashlights. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll I just I thought follow. you said flashlights. No, stop it. <laughs> That's what I heard myself say and I'm like, I hope no one else heard that. I didn't. Use code Thesperience um, <laughs> on As You Like It. As You Like It. On As You Like It. To percent off a checkout. Anyway, uh, I think we'd probably go to the exit. Just to yeah. flood in where Filter everyone else out is. Of these yeah. fucking tiny hallway. Yeah. All right. So, as your group kind of starts to head towards the exit, it, it seems to kind of encourage other people to like fully leave the room, start to try and leave. Uh, you notice that multiple people are trying to like check their phones, and it it seems that no one has really good signal. Um. People are trying to send texts, but nothing's going through. Uh, no one's really receiving anything. Uh, most people only have bars for fleeting moments, uh, as you all. The best way to leave would be, well, you have two options. You can either go up or down. I would like to go up, please. I don't want to go deeper uh, into the pits. All right. Uh, so we have an idea start... of what the fuck is going on. You're in a building on campus i understand that casper but things are (laughs) funky yeah like yeah so no you can start heading up um uh dd and saris do you follow rami up oop i'm going oop all right dd i'm not being left by myself (laughs) come oop with us uh Quill will also follow. Uh, Quill is very much keeping an eye on Dee Dee uh, with a concerned expression, but after the response that Rami got, uh, Dee Dee Quill is not pressing. Quill is just um, pending. I will say that Dee Dee is going to pull out the um, holy symbol that she has, mm-hmm. not for what you think. Uh, she's going to grab onto it. She's going to cast light so that yeah. she can see. Okay. Um, and then as she's walking, she's just going to be like anxiously kind of just rubbing her hair. Okay. Like, sweet girl. All sweet right. Girl. So with your phone lights and the light from Dee Dee's necklace, you are all able to see quite well as you make your way upstairs. Uh, as you're going up, it does seem to be like all of the, the kind of door signages mm-hmm. are all in the same font as the university they have the little braille but the bumps underneath uh, uh but, can i mm-hmm. try something sorry um, yeah of course it probably won't work because it's specified for like fire but i want to see if maybe i want to try to cast thaumaturgy on like the overhead lights to see if they can give like just a little bit of enough of a like not shock but enough power to potentially try to get them to turn back on it's just a cantrip, so like it it doesn't have to work. It's for technically like fire. Yeah, um, uh, I think the most that you would do is like maybe make some of the light bulbs pop. Okay. But that's like n- it doesn't send any voltages anywhere. Okay, it, that's fine. Yeah, it's just it's a cantrip. I was gonna fuck with it. See. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that doesn't seem to help. Um. So yeah, you are able to continue going up the stairs, or you can pop your head into uh and one of the hallways you're if you want to see how high up it goes that is an option are there windows at all uh yes but the blinds seem to be down can i oh i hate that can i open the blind, of course. The blind? yeah you open the blinds 
Yeah, I do, Casper. Okay, so it's not like how threatening that is. It's not really bright enough outside to have like a a strong amount of light going through the blinds. Mm -hmm. Um, But when you open it, it's it seems to be like a very cloudy evening, almost night sky. Was it Um, like noon, like daytime when we came in here? I thought it was like evening. Oh, okay, I couldn't remember the timing. I was, yeah, I can't remember either. But no, right now it is a very dark, uh, and it doesn't seem to be like any of the street lights are on. None of the outdoor campus lights are on. It is dark. Oh, power outage, maybe? The only lights that you see are coming from other students, staff, and other random people who are starting to make their way outside with flashlights and cell phones. Is there a way to open the window? No. Okay. There is there is a way. I just don't think you want to do the way break that it. there is. You I'm, just gonna, break it. I'm not going to break it because I don't have to pay for it. Yeah. The only way to get through that window is to break it. Especially okay. at this high, the college isn't going to have opening door, windows. Yeah. If it doesn't see, because so. I, I I misunderstood. I thought we were below ground. If we, if it's only going up, then I I want to. Do I it. I didn't I didn't tell you, so you honestly had no yeah, idea. My, so my, you're my good. brain is like we're below ground. That would explain like the shitty fucking cell service and shit. But... No, you're above ground. Oh, I'm dumb. Do we want <laughs> to go like back, to Dune? Yeah, I would like to leave the building, please. All right. Uh, as you start to make your way downstairs, I'm assuming again you're all sticking together. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you go to make your way uh, outside, Rami, you actually hear uh, your dad's voice from the other side of the hall, like down the <gasps> hall. He's clearly calming someone down from a panic attack. Yeah, she's going right to her dad. Uh, but she's he, going right to her dad. He looks like he maybe got into a little like fisticuffs, but like he looks fine, you know, like maybe he got like bopped in the face, but it's like a little bruising at worst. She'll, um well she's coming up she'll cast healing word just at first level she's like ah yeah i'll just we'll just say that it's it's a minute amount of damage the the bruising just kind of heals Rami on got a... fucked up but she's like no my dad i'm making sure he's okay yeah he sees you and he's gonna just go oh oh dear god and he pulls you into a hug yeah, a very gentle hug. hug him again um uh and he's he does the whole like are you all right he kind of pulls away he's like you know right, checking I'm your right. eyes and like right. <laughs> making sure she's you don't not, have but she is she's all right yeah <laughs> making sure you don't have a concussion making sure you don't have any like limbs going the wrong way making sure you have the all your fingers voice. and toes like yeah he's yeah. <laughs> um and when he sees the rest of you and sees that you're all alive <laughs> not okay you but know, alive. you're no. all alive and you're you seem to be like you know moving yourselves and you're not like again you don't seem to be really really fucked up at a quick glance um so he'll just you know i I think everyone's starting to make their way outside come on let's go uh he does very much kind of acknowledge each of you as like a he's keeping an eye on you all uh, as he starts to kind of help usher you all outside uh along with the again other people who were in the building Mm -hmm. uh and once you're outside uh you hear this like faint like sizzling pop as one of the street lights like tries to turn on and then just explodes um and you are all outside uh with a sky that is normally so dimmed with light pollution for the first time and probably maybe ever you are able to actually see stars in the Larksville skies. But it seems almost like too many stars. It's almost too clear. Especially for such an urban area. Do I sense any fey influence? Like maybe we didn't leave? No. Huh, okay. Yeah. And all of you feel off. 
especially to whatever magical connections you usually feel it, it doesn't feel gone it just feels off feels different changed still as strong still as present just different could i maybe cast detect magic go for it Good. I was going to, but I don't have the spells. So. Yeah, no, I would like to. Thanks. I would like to cast a second magic. All right. I am so, literally completely out of spell slots, so that's uh, valid. Since, uh, well, it's it's been a while. Uh, would you mind refreshing me on how that works? Uh, I think I ask every single time, but that's fine. So for up to ten minutes, you sense the presence of magic within thirty feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you could use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you can learn of its school of magic, if any. It can penetrate most barriers, but it is blocked by one. But yeah, it is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wooden dirt. Okay. The the magic that you feel is coming from all around you. Damn it. It feels faint as if it's like far away. But it is coming in like every direction. Damn it. And it's not a magic that you find yourself all too familiar with. Damn it. Um Except, actually, let me send a uh, private Zoom DM because I have a question for you. Fuck, I don't know which one of these dots is you. Right. Just text it to uh, me. Okay, all right. <laughs> we all are just periods. <laughs> Russian roulette of yeah. secrets. Because <laughs> then whoever gets it is... Uh... Which dot are you? Or Discord, like, send them on Discord. Just literally anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm texting him. Mm-hmm. 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 Which mm-hmm. dot? Which dot are you? Which singular dot are you? Uh, it sounded like a genius plan until I looked until at you the... saw the dot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did I? Um, I'll make I'll make uh... myself a dash just for you. Chelsea, do you have to check magic? <laughs> I do. I don't have any spell slots. Then I don't think it was me. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then yeah, you do not recognize this magic. If okay. I had spell slots, I'd help out, but I literally don't. Yeah. Okay. Because I know we've disc- we discussed it at that time, but I don't think it was me who did that. Yeah. But it was probably me then. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't store any spell slots in the uh, watch yet, so I don't have any spell slots. Well, if so. nothing else, this is our last session with this uh, game, so valid mm. and fair. Really quickly. Mm-hmm. Cora's not Cora. Fuck. Whoa, flies down from the heavens. Thesmus. I was thinking about that one. Um, Rami's going to not necessarily pray because she doesn't really love. She doesn't do that. Um, yeah. she's just gonna try to reach down that like connection or that bond and see if it's different or clearer than it was before. Yeah. Um, What's up, home dog? What's up, bestie? <laughs> Okay. What? So, how like what? How do you do this? Do you um, like I'm trying to think because the way she's always kind of communicated with us was was just kind of talking to the wind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she doesn't really pray. Um, I think she would she would focus a lot of her like energy and maybe even casting like thaumaturgy or something just to like have like the glitter appear on her cheeks or like something mm-hmm. along those lines just something really minor because again she's very low on spell slots uh just something to connect that and then try to continue like almost when you have like a ball of yarn and you keep pulling on the thread mm-hmm. kind of like that to see if she okay. can maybe like reach and see okay. if it's different okay My so yeah the magic is going crazy i'm so sorry the magic does actually work just as well as it did before Mm -hmm. um again the difference is quite it's minute but noticeable it's it doesn't hinder your ability to use your magic it doesn't strengthen it either it's just 
different. Can I, after doing that, because I can't do detect magic because I don't have that, but can I do just like a general arcana check on like the vibe? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Okay, cool. Because I can do, um, Yeah, so your intelligence arcana can check measure your measurability, recall lore about spells, magic items, eldritch symbols, magical traditions, the planes of existence, and the inhabitants of those planes, and pretty much anything else to do with magic. So I was just like, oh, vibe. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck? Couldn't find my deck, sorry. Natural 20, so 29. <laughs> Hit. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, so you're just trying to get, are you trying to do an arcana check on like your own magic or like are the around you like vibe? In or, inward or outward, basically, with your check. Internal, external arcana yeah. check. I think she'd understand it more inward. Okay. Than she would external because the external magic is, is so different. It, it's yeah. a very different vibe. So she probably would more so inwardly to see if she could pinpoint any difference. Okay. It so when you do this like arc like this like in introspective arcana check. It's a very <laughs> weird thing to do. <laughs> I love it though. This arcana introspective check on arcana check. On herself. Um, <laughs> it it just the best kind of i guess comparison i can give is like you know when you upgrade your phone and it's like the same basic setup and it's the same basic shape and the screen's the same basic size but it's just like mm -hmm. little things are different some it's icons better. might be different the, the, yeah the, the font yeah. might be like a 0.5 different Your size storage like, is completely clear you have so much space yeah it's like it's <laughs> it, again it's like familiar enough that you know like you know how to use it and you know mm -hmm. what you're doing and it's still a very um like uh instinctive enough that you know but it, again, it's just that noticeable change. Mm -hmm. But it, it, the most uncomfortable part of it would be like, why is this different? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, you notice that not too far away, uh, one of the neighboring uh, colleges uh, or academic centers or whatever, has lit up their stadium almost like trying to make like a like a beacon hub for people uh to go to and you notice that people from your campus like the building are starting to kind of make their way towards this singular light coming from one point yeah in the city and uh rami you feel the need to investigate That changes what I was gonna do. Uh, okay. I mean, I you can still do whatever, but you feel no, an she'll, urge. She'll, I hate that. She'll go. She'll she'll go and investigate. All right. She really, okay. Sorry. She'll let everyone know. Like, this is gonna sound really weird. Um, trying to figure out what's going on because this is something's different. I don't I don't know what it is, but something's different. Um. That just pointing at the stadium, just I feel like we should go look at it. Find out what's going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and she'll just start going. I have a quick question. All right. What's up? Do I feel or hear anything from my patron? <sighs> I'll say yes and no in the sense of yes it, it's it's that feeling that you have of like they're kind of omnipresence that they kind of low-key seem to feel like they have is there but it's not like they're coming and checking in on you or saying anything mm -hmm. it's it's kind of like when you have your phone like like it's got the connection noise but no one else is there mm -hmm. picking up mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that that bond, that connection is still there, but they are not actively giving you shit at the moment. 
okay. at the moment. Yeah. Give him, give him a minute. Yeah. All right. So what's at the stadium, Casper? Uh, so do you all walk again? It won't be far, probably like a 10, 15 minute walk. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you head on there. Quill is going to stick with you all. And Quill seems to be uh, constantly like checking their phone. Um, but again, anytime y'all check, still no signal. Uh, it gets hit very hit or miss. And like it's a miracle if a text sends through or if you get one, it'll do the whole like media message received, but you have to download it, even though it's a, just a simple text message. It's just really, really rough. Um, God, so I hate that shit. Yeah. So you get to the stadium and see that a, uh, a like people are kind of getting together in little clusters to sit kind of like almost like at a baseball game where you can you can look out over the crowd and usually tell who's with who mm-hmm. um it's not incredibly packed it's not like a whole the entire city is pulling into this one stadium but you're able to assume that these are probably mostly college kids and mostly college professors uh and you actually notice that this is a stadium that uh is more connected it's like kind of a interconnection between the one of the more athletically driven colleges that tends to have the sports options Mm -hmm. uh as well as like they're like the the performing arts because like they'll have like concerts and bands will come through or alumni can you know do their shows there uh so it's got a lot of room um and there doesn't seem to be anyone in the middle um but there do seem to be like random volunteers are starting to pass out like water bottles and snacks are like tending to people who might be in emotional shock or you know just whatever is happening yeah Yeah. um and you tell you can see that some of these seem to be like college students maybe from like various bardic colleges uh that work with like consuling and everything you see various like clerics and paladins and also just random people that are holding it together a bit better than others or just checking in it seems to be this very communal like how do i put this like when you walk into a really welcoming community center and you kind of just feel that mm-hmm. connection to everyone around yeah. you yeah. and like everyone's got your back uh and none of the lights adjust everyone can still see clearly but you do hear like a <clears throat> and it's almost as if someone down more towards the stage has like casted like a press the digitation or whatever to make their voice louder thaumaturgy, 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 yeah um it's kind of like holding three times louder yeah so and the whole theater or not theater but the whole uh uh stadium student thank you stadium kind of starts to go a little quiet uh if you look down mm-hmm. to the stage uh it would be a little hard to see depending on where you all got situated uh i guess that might be a good question do any of y'all have any idea where you might have situated yourselves um honestly rami knowing her like she doesn't have any spells available but she would probably offer to like probably go down to like try to offer to like help with stuff okay all right rami's heading down to offer to help uh dd saris i'd probably just stand in the middle of the thing and listen to the person on the stage okay so and then uh, Dee, do you stick with someone because quill is also going to be kind of sticking with uh (laughs) well actually i think quill might go with uh rami because quill actually has some spell slots left so they're gonna go off her i've got hands yeah like quill honestly might give you some of their like little healing potions to like go give to people who need it um Dee, what do you do (laughs) I think honestly, right. um, with everything that's going on, she's gonna clutch her cardigan around her tighter because she doesn't want any of the feathers to fall out. Mm-hmm. Um, Girl. and she's going to go sit in the farthest off corner that she can. Okay, so you all know that each other is safe in this in this color in this area, and 
you're able to kind of watch each other separate. And so Saris, you you know that Quill like is like, you know, I'll I'll be back. And Quill goes with Rami and gives Rami some some little like they little circular cups yeah. or circular bottles um to go pass out. And you probably watch Dee as she wraps her cardigan around herself and goes towards the back corner. But yeah, Rami's you... gonna keep a keen eye where everyone goes also. Okay. Using her keen mind, she'll remember. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, and Saris, uh, I do think it makes a lot of sense that you would head down uh, and kind of go towards the stage because uh, you recognize that clearing of the throat. Uh, you've heard it a few times, actually, at, usually at like family events when everything's like really crazy and no one's paying attention to like the plans that were set for the evening. Uh, and you see uh, on the stage in uh, like kind of form-fitting khaki pants and like white like converse looking shoes that have clearly been doodled on <laughs> and a white button up and like a dark purple almost like more like maroon vest looking kind of like a almost like a stereotypical caricature I'm of a to be so normal about this <laughs> college counselor um with this long vibrant curly hair pulled back into like kind of this poof of a ponytail i'm trying to be so normal cat you see a beloved found family member your aunt uncle you're you're still not quite sure what to call them <laughs> um thespis hello everyone thank you all so much for coming i'm glad you all saw the light everyone please get settled oh no this isn't like that i swear uh thank you all so much for coming please get settled in we're gonna have and they kind of make eye contact with you saris and like hey. if everyone could please just settle down and make sure that you take a water bottle people are passing them out thank you thank you and they hop down I'm, and come to I'm you I don't know how to be normal about this. <laughs> At that space, you actually hear, oh, no, no, no. You were in town. Of course you were in town. Why I live town? here. I, I know. Oh. I thought maybe I was hoping. I know. Oh. Did, did, did Roger come get you? Yes. I saw... Tall, tall dog guy. Yes. Okay. Um, And you're... And your your friends. Sarah just kind of mentions back to Quill and Rami, who are probably just yep. running around, and then yep. Dee Dee, who's probably the only one sitting in the bleachers in one like corner, and just kind of yeah. Uh, Fespus is able to very quickly see where Rami is. I is almost able to like naturally just find where she's wandering off. Um, so he's able to also quickly find Quill, and then looks off and finds Dee Dee. It's like okay. Um, so I hate that I'm becoming an expert with this. So I might need your help with something. And I had to ask your dads the same question, and I hated it then, and I'm gonna hate it now. Um, wanna help me free a town? Well, it's not a town, we're like a city, and not just a city, more like a tri-city area. It's, I, I still don't know how big this thing is. Uh, <laughs> Want to kill a god? <laughs> huh? Okay, I still don't quite know what happened, um, or where it started, but um, okay, not how I expected for you to. Uh, did did your parents ever tell you about the little, little uh, like uh, bubble it that they were in for a while? Pocket dimension. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The bubble. Sorry, I, I I associated that with the press of episode. No, the other bubble. Sorry, the physical bubble. Not. Y yes. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. Kind of. No. A little. Maybe bits and pieces. They've all said something and then neglected to tell me the rest. So 
I've been yeah. piecing it together, kind of. They were in a bubble. Yeah, I, I guess that kind of makes sense. That just makes my job a lot harder, I guess. No worries, no problem. Um, well, no worries about missing out. You got your very own, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want that. No, don't you. This. No, don't you try and do that. I hate Sarah's, this. So do I. I came to help because I've been here before, but it was very different circumstances. Uh, at least I assume it is because that. <clears throat> She's dead. So. Um, huh? I was. I had a long list of words I wanted to call her, but none of them were very nice, and I thought that wasn't the point. So I just I figured think, I'd get to the point. I don't point think that she's dead. dead is well. I mean, it's. Oh, that's it's the nicest a... thing I could think about her right now. Anyway, um, but so I figure that she's not involved, uh, because she can't be. Trust me, I know she's. She's not at this, so I don't know why this is happening. Um, and this is also a lot bigger than the one that I was in. Trust me, it got really claustrophobic in there, and this one almost like agoraphobic, the opposite of claustrophobic. That's, that's kind of how this feels right now. And I'm a god, to trust me. It takes a lot to get me like really freaked out about it being too big. Um, <clears throat> Saris is just gonna like go like shh, 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 shh. Uh, Rami, your your patrons here. Come come do this. I'm here. Can I hear him from where I am? Probably not. Yeah. Like, so Rami has no idea. No. Rami. Oh, God. Um, You see where Rami is. Yeah. Sarah's just Bouncing like. around, giving water and shit to yeah. people. Yeah, Sarah's just like, Rom, Rom, Rami. Hey, <laughs> hey, put down the. Hello. Hey, he Rami, Quit. I want you to roll. Uh, what's, what's your passive perception? Um, it's not terrible. Good. Sixteen. Something. <laughs> Semaphore code. Hello. Uh, hello. I'll, I'll say with the I'll say with the sixteen, you're able to see Sarah. So like Sarah's like kind of doing all this and calling out does get your attention, but you're not. This, yeah. This motion. What? And then you takes don't recognize. A step, them, takes though. a step to the side, and just. She'll go up. And Sarah's just like, as Rami kind of comes over, takes a step behind Rami, just takes the shoulders and just goes, Rami, Thespis, Thespis, Rami, here you go. She probably had a oh. bottle of water in her hand and she just drops it. Just, oh. She was gonna go. <laughs> yeah, Rami drops it, Sarah just goes, whoop, grabs the water bottle. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You were doing th such a great job, and I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, hi. Um, glad that you kind of got the the poll. Um, wasn't sure if that would work or not. So just frozen. <laughs> She's talking to the, just frozen. Yeah. Just um. So it's it's really nice to meet you. I know that it's kind of been a little difficult for us to communicate. I'm not really good with this whole like direct conversation with worshippers thing. It's actually really weird for me to call you a worshipper. That that feels I I don't like the kind of vibes that gives. Um. So it, it's really nice to to meet people who who like the doctrine. Um. And it, I'm not used to it. it's been a while. Um. So hi. Yes. Uh, I am Thespis, and they offer a hand, and glitter just kind of sparkles off their hand as it like kind of just cartoonishly bounces in front of you. Cirrus, you know her well enough at this point. You see, you can visually see the gears just like getting a little stuck. Cirrus takes Rami's shoulders and just kind of like wiggles her a little bit and goes, Hello, I'm Rami. Nice to meet you too. That's what you should be saying right now. Um, Rhett, um, Chase, that's just his hand. Just, hi. I, you did a great job in there. I'm sure. I'm sorry I couldn't see into there. I had this. It's it's complicated. Um, but you're here. You're alive. And I'm so proud of you. Oh, I was really, really worried. Um, so I'm gonna need your help here. Uh, Casper for us. For me. Yep. Give it a second. Okay. Wiggle fingers. Wiggle fingers. 
<clears throat> and the thing is, too, it's Thespis, so they're probably like just rambling. Yeah. Hello. 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 Welcome back. We can hear you now. Yay. Goodness gracious. I had to hold up the, su- the, the suspense. Um, <laughs> so it's like, so um, we're in a bit of what I like to call a, a predicament or uh, a pickle is another good word. Um, uh, a conundrum, y- an issue. Yeah, I, I would, I would, I'd, yeah. Uh, a bubble um, is another one. Though I don't know if this is round like the other one, so it might not be a bubble. I I, I don't know uh, what sorry, shape sorry, it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like all of the like confusion immediately goes away when Thess was talking about like the other one. Just sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. One second. Just okay. You aren't just something I made up. All right. No. Um. I'm entirely sure to be entirely honest. I didn't grow up in a very religious like family, so I just I don't know. Um, that's right. like no, there was no there was no information about you anywhere. So I just I thought that maybe I'd just yeah. it up or something. I don't know what it was. Not but, my home dimension, so that happens. This is mm, the other one. The other one. Ah, uh, like I was. I, I, I spent some time in a in a pocket dimension. Uh wasn't great. Uh don't recommend. Um, well, unfortunately, this is kind of where we might be. Um, but yeah, I was I was in a pocket dimension for a while. Uh I, I yeah, no, my lore isn't accessible here. That's actually how I met their dads and mom. Um, and like points to Sarah's real quick. It's like we met there. Um and okay. Uh, okay. And so uh but that was like a like a prison for a god um and i didn't know that then and i also don't know why this one's here except uh, uh, th- there's no rogue god of chaos and fate or whatever going around rampant here so i don't know why this is happening i i mean i i, 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 don't, I don't either but i know well yeah i didn't expect you to i just well, um the, it's... the fae said that Roger was a little too late. Before. Before they disappeared. Okay. Okay. All right. Not at all upset at you. You did amazing. I'm just feeling very big feelings <laughs> right now. Um. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Um. Mommy, mommy just takes the water from us from um from <laughs> from Sirius and just give us some some water. What? Oh. Casper, not you. I'm talking about this. <laughs> Casper just froze. Cass, do you want some water? <laughs> I hear them in the other room. Also, I'm just imagining fucking Rami saying that's just not you, Thespis. <laughs> Honestly, the serious goes, what? <laughs> I'm talking to you. Hello, Casper. Hello, I'm Rami's back. going I... to take the water from Sirius and just okay. hand it to Thespis just do you want some water? You seem like you need to take a breath and um, re- uh, breathe oh, a little. Uh, well, a uh, good thing about being a god is I really don't need to breathe. And it's very handy, oh. but I will take some water, though. And does that thing, you know, where when someone chugs an entire water bottle oh, and in. just, oh, just like, like, oh. yeah. Just, yeah, and they just chug all of it and just... Well, I, I mean, oh. I, I I figured you didn't need oh. to, but but I think it, it's it's more so you're, you're doing that the thing. colder than I expected. Ah. Nice. No, no, thank you. Uh, um, I feel a lot better. Okay. I, I do the same thing where I'm just kind of talking a mile a minute and taking a breath sometimes can regroup and Yeah, yeah. Um I don't talk to uh, a lot of um I'm not in these high stress situations as often anymore, so I've kind of lost my practice. Um That's good, right? Yeah, no, it's great. Um and my therapist will be so proud. Uh but um so what I need your help with is since I can trust you because I know I can trust you, uh, I need you to help me figure out why this is the way that it is. Uh, oh, Sarah, that also includes you, actually, because um, sorry, being one of my nephews kind of means I'm going to pull you into things. And one of them being I really need your skills uh, to help figure out what's going on here. Honestly, the more the merrier, too. Uh, I know that you all are great at making friends. Well, you two are anyway. Um, so if you would like to help 
then I would be very appreciative of uh, any kind of connections you will have. Because I may be a god, but I'm still kind of a... Uh, I can't spread myself as thin as, like, their parents' gods can. So, okay. can you help me? I don't... I don't think we have much of a choice if we're in a bubble. I mean, you do. I'm I'm not like one of those like asshole deities that's going to say no. I don't, I don't care what you say. Oh, like like I I think Thespis would actually like kind of change shape to like <laughs> mimic. Oh, I don't know a large white man in a white robe with like kind of gold designs on it, just looking <laughs> like I don't know, probably not like any other. Like other tabletop RPG deities, you're, um, you're a little loud there, Thespis. Yeah, and it's just kind of like you know, you have to do what I say, or I'll flood the place. I don't know, and then kind of shrinks back down to their normal size, and just you can say no. I mean, I'd, I I'd, would just appreciate that. I'd like to know what's going on and make it stop because I don't like this. So uh, great, thanks. Yeah, I'm not really great at twisting my. Uh, compatriots arms to, to do things so I'm, I'm really glad that you're enthused about this great I mean, so it's my home uh, so I'd, I'd like it to be how it's supposed to be yeah yeah and i live here well and it's not fun if it's like this all the time so, um, i'm sure no i'm sure dd would go along regardless i'm gonna be honest with you yeah i don't um you can ask but i think she needs a um minute i'll i'll well, ask d how about you all go take a bit sit with your friend regroup sit with dd tell her i say hi um give yourself I'm some not, time I'm not gonna do that 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 won't end well i think oh okay then don't tell her i said hi we can wait on that um mm. and then uh you can can go regroup have some time i'll be here uh and now that I know you're here, uh, I'll come find you in a bit. Uh, I just kind of want to check on the the others. Um, yeah, you all, you all go. Uh, and Thespis kind of blows both of you a kiss and turns on their heel and heads them. off the stage. I love, uh, I love and this, I love them. and this is where we're actually going to wrap up for tonight uh with some news for the audience of we are now also officially changing the system in which we are playing this game we, we will no longer be playing D D. we will actually be switching to the cypher system yeah so yay we're gonna have a uh, couple between... of added game things that we're gonna do so we don't struggle with the whole yeah. stream yes <laughs> so gotta relearn how to, to use streaming. it we aren't going to be streaming streaming uh actual play streams for a little bit but we will do what we will be doing on mondays is going back and actually re-watching our old streams uh kind of giving like almost like a director cast and crew commentative <laughs> yeah. on it. uh so we'll be doing that so at excited. least for i think the entirety of welcome to nextless um and hopefully by the end of that We're we should solve. also be good We're to <laughs> start ciphers Yes, I just Jenny. finished my own personal rewatch through your Welcome own personal life. like third or fourth rewatch <laughs> in the past like six months. Shut Good up. Lord. Uh, no, <laughs> I will not. I have fallen asleep to my own voice too many times. <laughs> Jesus. I, I, I'm sorry. I've been rewatching it because I've been feeling like really bad nostalgia and like I fucking I love that game and I love all the characters and I want to see my wife again not me actively listening to the thespis playlist as soon as you're photos thespis <laughs> uh, that's not exciting. well i'm so excited and for anyone in the chat who may be concerned uh you know what's great about us switching to the cypher system is that everyone's gods and patrons are all homebrewed mm -hmm. uh so oh, anything else that needs to be changed i will do and it's gonna be be fine and the players are also very excited to bring their own ideas to the table so with us going into the cypher system we are also going to be kind of reworking how we do streams one we're going to do it arc by arc and each arc will probably be about uh like five to ten episodes um i'm kind of basing it on the shows that i used to watch mm -hmm. um 
And we will be doing that collaboratively behind the scenes so that what you see on screen is less me leading a story that they're in, but more just a collaborative story being brought together and shown on screen. So yeah. very excited for that. So please be sure to tune in next week as we start our rewatch of Welcome to <laughs> Nexalus, the game that started it all. We're going to go back to when we didn't even have an overlay. Oh my goodness. Ew, nasty. And our audio was awful. And every time... All of us. Yeah, every time Casper would laugh, bombs would go off in the... Oh my god. We're going to go back to before we were friends. We it's were gonna coworkers be... at that point. We didn't like and it was we more awkward. Doing. Yeah, it was it really was, yeah. uncomfy. You can you the can first see episode us was real closer. uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, but I am excited for us to go back and give commentary. I'm very stoked. Also, might be kind of cool if we had our audio commentary be a podcast. But we'll we can look into Ooh, that and see that. how we want to play with that. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, if nothing else, please go ahead and check out the Thesperience link tree uh, or the Thesperience card. Both of these will take you to links where you can find all of our cast and crew's work. Uh, so if you want to keep up with any of us and what we're up to, then that will be the best place to do so. Again, we are going to do one final uh, run through of everyone giving their name, pronouns, and where people can find them. I have shared the Thesperians link tree in the disc in the chat below. Yes, Jenny. Uh, j we mentioned one sponsor. Do we want to mention the rest of them really fast? Oh my yeah, lord! Yeah, we only yes, mentioned gotten... one. I had to and get that, that was in there as jokes and not even as like nope, not actual. Well, here but let's let's okay. Let's go through our sponsors real quick. Um, if someone else can take the rain on the verbal description answers, I'll go get the links. Yeah, are you? Oh no! Do you like? Are you coffee? not homophobic? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you thirsty, curious, or horny? Well, then we can help you out. Uh, our sponsors for these streams uh, is Grinding Coffee Co., which is our first and longest partnership. Um, they have, love them. they have so many good coffee flavors. It is a queer owned woman owned business and black owned business too, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So definitely go check them out on their website, grinding coffee co, uh, and use promo code this experience to get 10% off of your order. We like this counts. Woo! So go and check it out. You can get anything from like regular coffee, decaf, cold brew, uh, merch. You, merch. They got real, like a really cool design. It's of a really cool. There's skeleton. a mug that I still have not gotten that I want. So There's a skeleton bad. drinking coffee that's really cool. The ease. So you should go check it out. They got a lot of cool stuff and uh, just go wild and have a good time. Um, we're also partnered with As You Like It, which is a Oregon local small business that has anything from gender affirming care to uh, sexual health care and zines and books and just fun things uh, for you to do with the people you love and definitely go check out their website because they ship I think anywhere in the United States yeah which also includes they're... yourself <laughs> People you love, yes, it, and yes, yourself. People you yeah, love does That's, include yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it does include yourself. Um, so definitely go check out uh, as you like it. You can also use the code Thesperians to get some discounts on your order. Uh, and also check out Conundrum House, which has a lot of like murder mystery games, a lot of uh, whodunits, a lot of puzzles, card games, uh, tabletop games. Anything and everything that you can think of, it's on there. Go check it out. Uh, if you are local to Corvallis, Oregon, go check it out in person. Uh, again, use code Thesperians to get some discounts off of online orders from them. Uh, and there's also the Tampa Bay International Gay and Lesbian Film Festival that I'm not too sure about because, Casper, you were the one who got in contact with them. Yeah, I can give that spiel. Yeah, go for yep. it. 
All right. And if you want to check out our last affiliation, you can check out the Tampa Bay International Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. They are also in charge of the Tampa Bay International trans film festival so these are both kind of hosted by the same organizations and every year they host film festivals uh one during pride month and then one closer in november towards the pride day uh the transgender day of remembrance um that they will host these different pride these different film festivals that are partially in person and also partially virtual uh and when these events come around you can use discount code thespirience to save t- uh, 20 percent percent off of any virtual ticket to any of the screenings of the queer or trans made films that are in these film festivals and again you can find the link in the chat we love the tampa bay internet we love tiglyph and we love just all the work that they do yeah uh to support queer art out in florida where honestly we all know that basically every state in the united states needs more safe and uh uh affirming queer support and representation and safe space for community and all of these places that we listed are places that also encourage that grinding coffee co as you like it conundrum house and the tampa bay international gay and lesbian film festival can all also be found through our link tree and again be sure to use promo code thespirience or tell them that the folks at thespirience sent you because you know that makes them think that we're really cool. And also we think that you're really cool. So we'll keep that cycle going. And we should probably also wrap up because it's well, I was going to say also, if you oh? think we're really cool and you want to tell us uh, directly that we're really, really cool. If you are near the Corvallis, Oregon area uh, in February, oh. there's going to be C3 Game Con in Corvallis and Casper and I will be there. We have some panels lined up. Uh, one, I think on just, how to take your story and how to tell it in online media form and share it with the world uh as well as a voice acting kind of where to jump in where to look for fun stuff uh panel so we have two panels i think that we're going to be scheduled for we will also have a booth where we will be selling some zines that we're working on that you can find on the thespirians ichio uh as well as some fun uh autograph stuff uh some cool just hang out with us look at these things that we got last minute so definitely <laughs> yeah definitely we come. might also be selling merch from other artists who have been on our streams if they're interested maybe i don't know <laughs> we'll see but I need more of those buff winter stickers i'm just saying Sorry. But uh, definitely oh, come, yeah, come to say hi to us at C3 Game Con. Uh, we're also in the works uh, to secure some booths at Pride events in the coming year, kind of throughout uh, Oregon, kind of around the Eugene, Albany, Corvallis area. Maybe, maybe Salem. Salem. Yeah, maybe Salem, kind of within those f- towns, I guess. So if you are in the area and you want to come see us say hi uh definitely help us support us and make sure that we can go to these events so that you can see more of us yeah uh and also before i hit for us to go uh raid our friend over at no man um also a little personal request if you could go look up uh richard writer underscore king on instagram and please follow my drag account i'd be endlessly appreciative please and thank uh because that's been my newest venture and i'm already obsessed and i want to do more so if y'all want some y'all alternative drag king in your life <laughs> it's go, very good go follow there yeah all also, right. do you want to do the we tell where we are? Oh my god, yes, again? yes, 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 yes. Thank cool, you. Cool, cool, I knew cool. I forgot something. I was like, uh, oh. <laughs> yes. Uh sorry, that got erased from my sim queue okay. and it I gotta put I'm back here. in. Uh it's still so, online, don't worry. <laughs> hell yeah. Uh all right. We're Creative gonna go one, yet. once again in clockwise order. So we'll start with Jason. Hot like clocked in. in. Oh, damn it, Jason. We both did it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I just went eh, clocked in. Yeah, clocked in. <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm Jason. I'm Thespirances. He slash himbo. Uh, I play Saris tonight and every day I struggle. So help me. <laughs> you can find me on my card, jasonlarog.card.co. 
God damn it. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> it's okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. Please oh, support me in the things that I do and help me to make more money so I can do more of that stuff. Please. Because I'm the good as we... shit at it. So help You're... me. Honestly, the more that we all make from the creative work that we do, the more creative stuff we can make. Yeah. So if you want to support us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because as much as I love it, I don't enjoy early morning business calls with Austria for my job. Fair. <laughs> with all of Austria. Every person all of in Austria. The entire, is on the, call. Country, the entire country. The entire country of Austria is on that is on that not even a Zoom call. I don't know what it is, but anyway. Skype. It's not Skype. <laughs> Skype. Oh my god. It's not Skype. I love it, but I want to to work to be able to branch beyond it someday. So <laughs> Yeah. So if you want to find Jason's stuff, his links are in the card uh, link below. You can find actually everyone's links in the chat below. Yeah. Uh so go on ahead and check those out. And Jenny, you are next. Um, I'm Jenny. I'm Vesperience's favorite uh disabled lesbian. Can I say that? I don't Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I have claimed that title for myself. I love how you said, I'm the afraid. famous, uh, I was like, uh? I'm so sorry. You can We're all tired. Out. We're all tired. <laughs> because I'm fine. Okay. Well, besides Chelsea. Yeah, because you didn't work today. Chelsea's, also, well, look wait, at me. I'm Chelsea and I'm not tired. Way. I work at overnights. I stay up until six in the goddamn morning. So, so apart vibing. from, so apart from, uh, disabled lesbian. Uh, disabled lesbian. Mm -hmm. Find me on Twitter at Cerulean Siren 19 and on Redbubble as Cerulean Siren 97. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of Nexus merch on there and some D&D stuff if you want any of it. Um, I'm also working on something in secret that will be available to the public once I can get it to these numbnuts for their late, late <laughs> Christmas presents. I know what it is. Uh, <laughs> so that will be exciting because I'm going to be honest, I think it's my favorite thing that I've made for Nexalus yet. Ooh. So it's very cool. It's, it's going very to be very cool. cool. You're going um, to freak out. <laughs> I'm so excited. And that's, uh, that's what I got. <laughs> A nice so Twitter and Red Bubble in Red Bubble are in the chat below. And Chelsea, you're next. Hello, my name is Chelsea. Uh I use they them pronouns. You can find me on the internet pretty much anywhere underneath Dang It Bar, but Twitter and like TikTok are probably gonna be the best options. Um I don't really do a lot of stuff on the internet because aforementioned I work overnight, so I'm working a lot normally. But uh, Jenny and I are actually, we can kind of sort of announce this now, uh, are actually part of a upcoming brand new stream uh, with a actual another uh, little entertainment company that we're a part of called Nerdsmith. Um, we'll be marketing stuff to come out for it very soon. Hopefully we did our first like, little session zero recently. So if you want to support that, come support it. We have some really cool characters and we're really excited. We've been working on it like getting ready for over a month now for the stream so we're very very excited Ooh. um other than that i am potentially looking into starting to open up freelance editing for like audio and video so if you're looking for help with that let me know i would love to help you out um i don't have any set prices yet but we'll figure it out uh besides that i'm nowhere else that's it that's all i got good night <laughs> <laughs> all of those links are in the description in the chat below again just look up dang it barb on basically everything <laughs> yeah uh, and hello i am casper oliver i uh use he him fey fear and they them pronouns and i can be found kind of everywhere under casper oliver vo or just casper oliver uh best place to find me is actually on uh instagram under casper oliver vo or my link tree because my link tree is very up to date <laughs> with all of my projects all of my zines all of my podcasts all of whatever is uh is all on link tree slash casper oliver 
Uh, and that can be found in the description below if you're also watching this on YouTube. So that is all of us. All of our links as well as of our affiliate links are in the chat. And we will go to our ending screen so we can figure out how to raid a friend of ours who is streaming at the moment. And as we love, love to wrap up our streams with everyone, love yourselves because we love you. Also hydrate or die straight. That's that a is a threat. Yes. That is a threat. And take care of yourselves until next week, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.